Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a nice little video about a feature that can be very helpful to everyone. The help menus in Windows 8. Actually this is kind of a universal video. Um, Windows 8 has different help menus of different programs. Um, not all programs will be uh, dependent on the F1 key, so you got to be careful about that. Uh, it's not always there. Um, if you are looking for help anywhere in a computer software in Windows, well, for example, I'll click Microsoft Word, and you're thinking, okay, I need help uh, in Microsoft Word. How do I get it? Well, on the upper left of your computer keyboard, there's the F1 key. That is the help key. It's universal. Every version of Windows since Windows 95 and maybe even Windows 3.11 uh, had help from the F1 key. So what you do, you just do a quick press on the F1 key. And it always brings you a <coughs> help menu that is dependent on the software that is open. So in, in case, uh, here is Word, so I got help for Word with categories or you can actually go and type here in the search box the type of feature or help that you're looking for. So this is really really nice. You're in Windows 8 and you're looking for help. Well if you're pressing the F1 key on the start menu you'll notice that nothing happens. But if you go in your desktop mode and then you press the F1 key you'll be greeted by the Windows help and support and here you'll have full of information on Windows on helping you do more and you've got get it get started internet networking security and privacy you can go into the search at the top search for a feature so you can type for example uh, control panel and then click that little search and you'll have where is control panel, you'll have complete information on how everything is into Windows. And um, I would say that if you're looking for help in Windows 8, this is a great, great place to start uh, because it's going to really, really give you lots and lots of information on what's happening. So uh, you just, you know, either look at the different uh, categories that are available for you or you can actually like I just did type a feature so if you're looking for something type that feature in the little search box there at the top and it's gonna show you um, you know lots and lots of help and lots of them in the video like I'm doing so you've got lots of help things uh, help files and help videos on different features in Windows just by going to the desktop mode <coughs> and clicking the F1 key, sorry. <coughs> so, um, great, great, great way to have more help. If you're lost in Windows 8, this is probably a very, very uh, good lifesaver <laughs> because you'll be uh, having um, all the help you need. And in mo most cases, the explanations are uh, quite simple. So. Um, you can you know go through and uh, learn more and like I said it's available in all software so you saw uh, at the beginning that it was available in Word uh, if you click on another piece of software you'll always have the F1 key will almost always bring out a um, feature of um, help uh, so for example here I'm in Internet Explorer uh, chances are that F1 will bring me help and here you go getting started with Internet Explorer, browse the web. So um, just remember F1, that is your capital uh, help. One thing to uh, just be careful, on some computers the F1 key is also matched with a setting of the computer itself and sometimes you will need to uh, press the function key at the bottom left of your computer which is always abbreviated FN in order to actually get the F1 key working so if you're somewhere and press F1 nothing happens or what happens is not help then you can just 
hold the FN or function key at the bottom of the keyboard and then type, uh, just press the F1 key. On my Toshiba, for example, uh, I have to press the function key with the F1 key in order to get help. If I don't do that, the F1 key by itself is associated with another type of uh, command. So uh, just be careful with that because uh, depending on your computer settings, it might be, uh, you might have to actually uh, press the function key at the bottom of the keyboard in order to make uh, help pop up with the F1 key. If you enjoy the videos, maybe you've got a new Windows 8 computer, you're a little lost, well, this is a great channel to be, so click the subscribe button and uh, you'll know when new videos are available. And uh, hey, take a look at our other videos. You have lots of videos online. And uh, maybe you have a request of a feature or a video you'd like to see. Uh, so let us know. We'll try to put a video online for that and explaining that feature to you. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.